Hello everyone, this is ML Naruto. Welcome to my channel. So today in this video, I'll be explaining about uh, a basic workbook. So here you'll be seeing all the tabs in a workbook. For example, this tab here with the name file and uh, see here we have home home tab and also we have insert draw and page layout formulas data review view developer help so these are all the tabs here so under each tab we have few groups for example this here that is clipboard is a kind of group and here you'll be having some arrow button if you just tap on that arrow it will get expanded and here this font is nothing but another group so font alignment number styles cells editing these are all nothing but groups if you just tap on this arrow automatically these will get expanded see here all the all the commands under this particular group has been expanded so uh, under the font under the font group we have these many commands here see we can select the font whatever we want and we can select the style of it we can provide it a size and uh, these are all the effects and finally here we can select the color preview of it if you just click ok automatically the changes will be applied so likewise for each and every group here we have we are provided with a particular arrow upon clicking it automatically the commands under each group will be expanded so these are all the tabs here and uh, under each tab these are all the groups tables group add-ins charts tours spark lines filters links etc these are all the groups so now i'll be showing how to open an existing workbook see you just need to go to this file you just need to go to this file tab here and uh, here you can select whatever you want for example i'm selecting this this file that is district 3 which has which i have recently opened so i'm selecting this thing then automatically it will get open now so we have opened an existing workbook now what if we want to create a new one so you can just go here again in the file tab and if you just go here on the option new if you just tap on it tap here then automatically uh, you'll be seeing an option called uh, new i mean a, play, a blank workbook so if you just tap on it automatically a new workbook will be created and uh, there is also another way of doing the same if you can just press ctrl plus n here see automatically this is the book three so this is a new workbook again see in total we have opened district three this is the existing workbook and this is the new workbook here we have opened this here we have created this workbook um, by selecting the conventional method here and this one that is the book three is the new workbook again but here we have opened this thing using a shortcut called control plus n so again we have opened another workbook that is book four so in this way you can easily open and uh, here if you just go here in the file file tab here uh, on the more you can tap on it here you'll be seeing an option uh, a field called options just tap on it and under the options if you just scroll down here see here show the start screen when the application starts if you just check it then what happens is whenever you start this application excel automatically you'll be seeing 
a particular uh, start screen that is by the name Microsoft Excel loading. So if you just uncheck it, you won't be seeing it. Okay. So every time I feel somewhat irritating, so that's why for that reason I have unchecked it. If you want, you can check it and try opening Excel by checking it. And after that, uh, just try it, unchecking it. Then you'll find find out the difference. For now, for me, I don't want to enable this option, so I'm unchecking it. So that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.